Well, tonight there are still so many questions about the explosion in a Flint neighborhood that killed a four year old little girl and a woman. Just look at this video from Sky 4. Absolute destruction. It leveled three homes, damaged 20 more, and the impact was felt for miles. Little Nevaeh Williams was found today in the rubble as the investigation is just beginning. Victor Williams is in Flint talking to people who are trying to help. Heartbreaking and tragic situation. You can feel the sense of devastation right here in the air. Flint police still right here on the scene, blocking off both sides of the street where this explosion happened. And sadly, it's a child and a 55 year old woman who unfortunately lost their lives simply for being at home. When it went off, it was like a 2000 pound bomb. We just feel so bad for him. Neighbors are still trying to handle the untimely death of a middle aged woman and four year old girl killed in Monday night's explosion on Hogarth Avenue. It's just devastating. The four year old child has been identified as Nuvea Lucas. This person who did not want to be identified was one of the first on the scene trying to help find her before her body was discovered underneath all the rubble hours later. There was no way to get back into that house. There, there's absolutely no way and it's extremely tragic. You know, it's 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 unbelievable. I have kids myself and, and I can't imagine her loss. We're told the mother's boyfriend is now in the hospital after receiving multiple severe burns all over. However, since the explosion, the entire area has been coming together to help each other out. Michelle Hairston, first lady of a local church, has been trying her best to do her part by handing out food and whatever other items the people affected may need. When you're not in your home and you're, you're uh, displaced, uh, this is better than nothing, and especially at the holiday. And as you can imagine, all of this has been extremely rough on the family of this little girl. So if you would like to help them out during this unfortunate time on our website, click on Detroit.com is a link straight to their GoFundMe page. Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor, investigators are still looking into the cause of the explosion, but 17 homes now have been evacuated. Consumers Energy has shut off the natural gas and electric service to the area.